we have um, Ojekiri uh, Ikoji on the show, um, CEO, Matchroom Sports and uh, uh, Media, and of course, uh, publisher, Niger League Magazine, joining us on the show this morning. Good to have you on the show. Good morning. My pleasure. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah, now let's go straight to uh, what it is. Let's, let's start off with what happened over the weekend, uh, talking about the Nigeria Professional Football League from uh, the violence that broke out in different match venues. What will be your reaction uh, to that? Because lately we've not heard any fine uh, being issued by the LMC. I think it's a shame. It's a shame that we still have these issues um, coming up every other time. Uh, we just off from the one that happened uh, when Aqua United and Dakada played at home, both teams were fine. Rangers too. So you see, every other day, um, in, in other leagues, the match experience, you want to see goal scorers, results, the conversation. That's the kind of conversation you want to see, you want to hear. But um, in, in our own league, every other day is violence in one center or the other. And the authority, those in charge are not doing the right thing. They're not taking the right decision. Punishments are like um, a tap on the wrist. It should be, it should be a hammer. You, hit, you use a sledgehammer and do the job. I've always advocated for deduction of points. Until we start deducting points in Nigeria, this is the conversation we're going to have. It's not going to help the league. It's not going to help the country as, uh, as, um, as a brand. It's not going to help Nigeria. Oh. These things go online. Now, when people check go online, that's all they say about Nigeria. And that's what they hear. And that's the opinion they have oh. about Nigeria. And that's what they say, because that's what they read. Until we start deducting points, we will not go anywhere. It's going to keep happening and happening, because the punishments, I mean, you, 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 two million for, it will be paid. Usually they even say deduct from source. So at the end of the day, it amounts to nothing. No one is punished. Um, somebody does something at the stadium, the guy should be prosecuted, but it has never happened here. So how do we move away from violence? It will continue to happen because we have not taken steps to stop violence until the LMC and the NFF. It's, it's shameful that the NFF is um, concerned about getting players uh, born out of Nigeria to come and play for the Super Eagles. That's their job for now. That's what they are focused on. That's, they forget that um, every country is known by its league, not its national team. England, the Premier League. Germany, the Bundesliga, Spain, La Liga, France, Ligue 1, Egypt, the Egyptian League, South Africa, PSL. No one's going to talk about your national team. At any rate, how many times do they play in a year? It's the league. But until the NFF comes back to do what you have to do, face the league, I, I, I believe that we should divorce the head of the league from the NFF board. Because it is in Nigeria, the head of the league spends more time doing NFL stuff than doing the league stuff. Wow. You know, so we must divorce it. If you want to be the head of the league, be the head of the league and face the league. Mm. Not that you be the head of the league and you jump, you are doing NFL activities. At the end of the day, the league is just hanging there. Mm. It's not on TV. So who's talking about it? Yeah. It's not on TV, everyday violence. Violence is a conversation. Go on, read the papers, go online. That's the conversation going on. So who will go and watch? You want to watch a league where something you don't know what will happen to you? Yeah. They, they have to do the right thing. Until they do that, it, this will continue. Yeah, very true. Now let's talk about um, the death of the Nassau United player, Chairman Martins. Um, I don't think we need a 20-team league in Nigeria. In Scotland, they play, they play 10 teams. In Switzerland, they have 10 teams. Those are European countries. In South Africa, they have 18. In Egypt, they have 16. Why do we have 20 in Nigeria? We say we do club licensing. And on match days, I mean, this is, it, it happened to a player of the home team. It's a shame that um, it happened. I mean, too bad the guy is, is gone. But then, did they have a doctor on match day? No. Did you see the ambulance that was used to, that was available on, on that day? I mean, you laugh at the ambulance. That kind of ambulance you want to see at match venues? I mean, I saw a picture online, the ambulance was pushed. Do they have the right personnel? I mean, we all know how an ambulance should look like. So again, the questions come up all over again. Do the teams have the right personnel? Personnel in all uh, you know, ramifications? I mean, it's for you and I to act to, to, we know the obvious answers. So the NFL is just waking up now to realize, this is week 23. Where were they from March day one, March day two? The league went on break. What did they do? 
and now we have found ourselves in this mess. Now, finally, let's, let's talk about um, the medical care now. Who is supposed to provide medical facility? Is it the Club FA or is it the LMC and the NFF? Well, from the rules of the game in Nigeria, the FA, every state has an FA. So in this, um, in that case, the Nasarawa Football Association should be the one to provide the ambulance. Although the club will pay for logistics, logistics in terms of personnel who will be who will uh, man the ambulance, the right, the right personnel, yeah. not just anybody. You can put me in the ambulance and I come to the stadium. Hmm. Am I equipped medically? Um, I mean, the kind of knowledge I have to solve issues that will come up on that day, that's the question. So, you see, it's one thing to have an ambulance. Yeah. It's another thing for the right personnel to come with the ambulance. Hmm. Some just come with the driver. So, that's, I mean, so many questions to answer. From the rules anyway, the FA provides the ambulance, but the club will pay for logistics, give to the FA, the FA brings the ambulance. I mean, as it is right now, the club can still not divorce itself from what has happened. I mean, it's a player of the club. You should prove, you see, you know the kind of thing we do in Nigeria? Um, you're told to have a fire extinguisher in your car. True. You will not have one because you say, if, uh, you, uh, they pray for a fire. Mm -hmm. There won't be fire. Then you move and suddenly, and you know you're expecting the next um, car by your side, your neighbor, as we say in Nigeria, to give you fire extinguisher. So on March days, we don't anticipate things like this. Sure. And so, my brother, the ambulance goes there. It's just like an empty box. There's nothing inside the box. Wow. Wow, really, really sad situation right there in the Nigeria professional football league. But we'd like to thank you, I, I could you, JK, for talking to us this morning. My pleasure. I do enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much.